Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is on reverse case statement. As you know, this is a general form of case statement which selects one of many constructs based upon the case expression. So based on how we write the case expression, we have two coding style. One is encoding style and other is index based coding style. So let's first discuss about encoding style. In encoding style, case expression can be an expression that evaluates to a constant or it can be a bit vector which are used to compare against the case items. So let's take an example for a better understanding. Here the case expression is a state variable which is a 3-bit vector. The state value is compared with each case item. Let's say if state value is 3 tick b 0 1 0 then the next value will be 1. If state value is 3 tick b 1 1 1 which is not there in the case item then the default value is selected and the output next will be 3. This is encoding style of case statement but this coding style is very inefficient when used for one hot state machine. To understand this let's take the same example and say the signal state is one hot encoded. So the state will have 001, 010 and 100 values. In simulation for this one hot values the case statement will behave the same way as earlier but during the synthesis the synthesis tool will infer a 3-bit comparison logic. So this is the logic which will be inferred by the synthesis tool which is used for generating the value of output next. Now let's consider instead of a 3-bit state variable we have a 10,000-bit state variable. What are you talking? 10,000? Yep. You can help me reach 10,000 by clicking that subscribe button. Okay now coming back. If we have a 10,000-bit state variable, the synthesis tool will infer a 10,000-bit comparison logic, which is not very efficient. So to avoid the extra logic being generated during one hot, there is one other style of Verilog case statement that is index-based coding style. This coding style is very unique to Verilog. Here the case expression is 1 tick b1. The case 1 tick b1 is known as reverse case statement. Here the first matching case item is executed so there is an implied priority so let's take an example for better understanding as you can see over here the case expression is one tick b1 and instead of regular case item we are using each index of state variable here the state variable is not one hot encoded so the state variable can have the value from 0 to 7 and for every value of state variable output next is specified so this is a full case statement and the default case is not required here. Now you will say what's the difference between encoded and index as there's no change in the result. Yeah, that's right. In simulation, there is no difference. But in synthesis, the tool will infer a single bit comparison logic. So logically, our design is optimized. Now suppose the state variable is one hot encoded. We can further optimize the design by specifying a parallel case pragma which will tell the synthesis tool not to worry about the values which are not one hot encoded that is 0, 3, 5, 6 and 7. This coding style is very efficient for one hot but otherwise please don't use this coding style it is very dangerous. In summary if it's one hot use the reverse case statement or index style otherwise go for the normal encoded style. So now you can experiment with reverse case statement in your code to support me Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Be brave. Jai